May I now call upon um, Ms. Sherwin Berry. Let me give you a quick introduction to her. Um, I might add that our kids club made a, an attempt at uh, making a large door. Uh, I wish we'd spoken to Neve before because apparently she has huge doors to, to send us. Um, but I think it was a great experience for our um, kids club and I was positively surprised. I just told Rosa, look, I think we need to make some doors to put up on the wall and then I come in and they've made this huge door, which is fantastic. So Neve, uh, I always pr uh, mispronounce Irish names. I, please forgive me. How do you say Neve? Neve, Neve Sherwin Berry. Neve is, uh, is the difficult bit, but Neve. Neve worked as a Montessori teacher and previously ran her own business, running music classes for under fives. She has lots of experience working with young children, truly loves it. Helping Queen Kate to tell her story is a true honor for her. Neve splits her time between being a mummy, a mammy, Irish mammy, uh, running the PR, social media, and customer service as part of the business and uh, appearing as a panelist on Midday, a nationwide daily chat show on Ireland's TV3. Neve created the Irish Fairy Door Company with her lifelong friend, another name, Aoife. Yeah. My goddaughter's called Aoife, so I get that wrong. <laughs> yes, we have Irish connections too. Aoife Lawler, uh, along with their husbands, Ashin and Gavin. I'm, I'm becoming Irish, yeah. Three years ago, and sales are now reaching 500,000 pieces and distributors in the UK, USA, Canada, Australia, New Zealand, and Mexico. The Irish Ferry Door Company is going from strength to strength. Please give us a uh, round of applause for me. Thanks, Maria. You can hear the Irish. Woo -woo! <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, so I'm going to take my little bits and pieces out here. I usually don't use notes, but I said it's very, everyone's very uh, experienced and um, like these companies are incredible. I'm sitting there going, I think, did they really want me to go up and talk? Um, okay, I'm going to, I have it broken down into a couple of different sections. So I'm going to, and I really do need to keep an eye on the time because I never stop talking. Okay, please do, yeah, do, do. <laughs> Olivia's going to give me the nod to you, aren't you, Olivia? Yeah, okay. Right, so I am the chief storyteller. That's my job. I am, when, when Olivia said, you need to send your, your biography over to the teacher, I was like, I'm the chief storyteller. She was like, just go a little bit formal just for now, and then you can tell them when you get there that you're the chief, the chief storyteller. So that's what I'm here for. Um, so basically, I was, in, I was mostly employed, but it's actually my company. <laughs> so, that's God. Um, my job, though, is to go around and tell everybody what we do. Okay, so... I suppose I could, I don't know, do you know what, I'm going to explain you the actual product. If everyone, can everyone take out their fairy door? They are, everyone has one. Have a little look at it. Okay. Have you got one? You've got one to everyone, one, give them one to everyone in the audience. Brilliant. Okay. So if you look inside your pack, you've got this, this door, okay. This is your fairy door. There's lots of different colors. Um, there's five different colors actually in all. So you get a fairy door, very important. You get a little booklet to write notes to your fairy, and your fairy can also write back, very important. You also get a welcome guide, so it's what you need to do to actually welcome your fairy into your home. So to give a very br brief synopsis, you choose where you would like to put your fairy door. So it can be on a tree outside or um, on a skirting board or a baseboard at home. Um, you choose a name for your fairy. Very important. Do not choose it yourself. Let your child choose the name. We are control freaks. We're like, what about Sparkly? No. Let your child do it. So they'll come up like with Bobby B Bumblebottom or whatever. But whatever it is, let them choose, okay? Because this is their friend. It's not ours, it's theirs. We all kind of get it, a lot of enjoyment out of it. I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, this is a little book just basically telling you how to do it. Okay. Actually, I'd be killed for not telling you this. When you actually choose the name for your fairy or let your child do it, um, you help them. You go onto our website and you register that name with us. So when you register your name with us, now you're part of our community. And for that, you get content every single week. So although some of us have imaginations, I've got three different groups of parents. So we've got one group of parents, like myself, that are very imaginative. We don't need a huge amount of help. We're getting this going. 
Um, but we still like it. It's nice to have it. Then there's the middle group of parents who are pretty much, I would say, the biggest group. They like it. They get the benefits of it. And they understand that it's good for their child to, to um, play imaginatively. Um, but they need a bit of help. So that's what this email is for every single week. So it will tell you how to create the magic. So it will give you kind of tips the whole time. And then we have the website that is absolutely jam-packed with fairy FAQs, fairy facts, every type of piece of information you need to know about fairy, it's on our website. But then we have the last group of parents who I hope none of you are in the audience. And don't even look me in the eye if you are. Non-believers. Non-believers shouldn't buy our product. We don't want you to buy our product. <laughs> Not interested. All right? There are people who don't believe that spending this time with their child is beneficial. And so... Not so many. There's quite a few. I mean, people have been on to us and said, oh, listen, I don't get it. Well, then don't buy it. Because really and truly, we don't want you. I know that sounds terrible, but... We really want to build this community and make it strong. And we've been so successful in doing that because everybody who believes in what we do and the power of what we do, we're all in this community together. Everybody is in it together. This key is the key, okay? So there's a bottle and there's a key inside. You leave it out by your ferry door. In the morning, oh, I nearly forgot my lease agreement. Hold on. This is also a family ferry lease agreement, okay? So it's a full list of rules and regulations that you have to sign, everyone in the family, and the fairy also has to sign too. Um, they're great. They are um, actually designed to make the parents laugh, and believe me, they will. And the kids, the kids take it so seriously, so don't laugh when they're with you, but have a little read of it afterwards. It's brilliant. You leave that out, so there's a little space for the fairy to sign too. In the morning, if the key is gone in this bottle, and that's what ha has to happen, fairies, when the key is gone, something happens. It's the most incredible moment. And I know that the girls, we have um, some of our Irish bloggers here, and um, they will all attest to what I'm saying. Something seriously special happens. Um, a child has an imagination. It, they're born with imagination. We don't foster it enough. We don't. Um, like, sometimes we kind of, you know, as I said, make these decisions for them. We, we kind of help them along the way, or we'll, um, we, we'll kind of take over a bit. But what happens when they think that there's a real Irish fairy behind that door? Like, it's a real fairy. It's about that size. They've moved in. They've come all the way from Fairy Valley. They're going nowhere. They're your friends. It's like having a dog. Now you have a fairy. Now, I have just explained that in words. I'm going to ask Carlos if it's okay. Oh, actually, do I have to click on the next bit? I do. Hold on. I'm going to click onto the next slide, and this shows the magic. Now, my little person is in this one, and I still watch this and get emotion emotional. It's only a minute. It's only a minute. I hope you like it. But this will be a good... I think it kind of puts it on in a minute little, vi little video what I've just said. Is it just the... Which one is it, Chitra? The f ah, next one. Okay. No, no, all good. If you could press play, Carlos. Thank you. Did you get it? That's, um, that's a, a really, it took a long time to do, but when, 
when we all saw it in the office lads, we were crying our eyes out. We were like, that's it, that's it, that's it. That's exactly, um, it captures something magic. Something magic happens. Um, and it is, when that key is gone, um, it's truly remarkable. And I, I, I really do genuinely hope that you do give the fairy door that you have to a little person in your life and you do get to see that moment or you get to hear about how it went because it's incredibly special and um, because these little people have it all inside them and it's just a piece of wood. It's a piece of wood. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Um, okay, we help you along, but essentially that's what it is. But that you're giving it to this little person who just has, imagine, it, it explodes and it's instant and it is beautiful. And like, <laughs> Obviously, we have one a long time. I'm going to tell you about that now. Um, when, when, we, when the key was gone for us, now it wasn't as posh as what it is now. It was a little bit um, put together for us. But I was like, I had tears in my eyes. And my son was like, Mammy, why are you crying? And I was like, I don't know. I just, something special is after happening. But anyway, I'll keep going, guys. Our backstory, once upon a time. I don't have as many slides as everyone else. I was feeling very inadequate when I was sitting down there going, oh, God. I could have put so much more in this. But anyway. Um, our backstory, myself and my husband, and my best friend and her husband. Um, I don't know how bad um, you guys in general in Europe were hit by the recession, but we were absolutely destroyed. We lost everything. We lost our home. We lost our cars. We lost every single thing we owned. And that is not an exaggeration. That's true. People go, really? Your house? Yes. We were what was called the Celtic Tiger. Pubs. So in Ireland, uh, we had something called the T Celtic Tiger. So it was the property boom. Everybody did not know what to do with their money. And we, myself and my husband, we bought a house for like half a million euro. We had two BMWs. We were living the dream. We were on this two acre land. Um, and when um, uh, Tudor put that up earlier on, September um, 2008, I actually got, felt a bit sick because that's exactly the time when it happened for us. Um, the back, my husband was in um, mortgages. The bank stopped lending immediately. So we went from earning 150,000, maybe 200,000 euro one year to 6,000 the next year. Like it was that instant um, and it crippled us. And without our, my parents and my husband and my hus husband's parents, we wouldn't have been able to survive. And it was that, that serious. We were about to emigrate. My dad got sick, um, which is really bizarre because to find a silver lining and how sick he was is kind of crazy. But he got very sick, so I was staying. Um, would have been gone if he didn't, which is funny. Um, we were going to Canada, um, and we had nursed him through his sickness and with my mum. And um, we were actually down. I live in north of Dublin. It's in, a, a, in Loud. And we were down in my friend Aoife's house, and we were all sitting around. And then myself and Aoife had been in New York early 2008 when we had money. Thought we were loaded. Um, we were in New York, we were in, in upstate New York, and we found a little shape that looked like a fairy door. Like, it, it wasn't called a fairy door, it was a little shape that was two inches, and it was just kind of round on the top and had a little doorknob. This really random shop where you could get a, 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 a gun and a, and, a, and a loaf of bread. The Americans here will understand that these shops do actually exist. Like, literally, a gun, there's a gun stand here, and the bread is here. It's insane. Anyway, I better hurry up. Um, so, um, we... We brought it home for our kids. So our, we had fairies in with us a long time. So we were sitting here that day. We were chatting away about um, how our business, our, not our business, was not in existence at this stage. The two boys were sitting in the corner, like, crying. They were like, I'm just so tired. Because they were both entrepreneurs. They were just done. They were done. And myself and Aoife were chatting about what our fairies were doing. It's like, well, my, my fairy had the flu. And um, she had, her hair wouldn't stop growing. And her toes wouldn't stop wriggling. And um, we were making up all these new symptoms for fairy flu. And... Uh, <laughs> Uh, we were laughing. We were having so much fun. And the two boys were like, we could make money out of this. And myself and Eva were like, no, would you go on? And they were like, no, 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 you're enjoying it. The kids are enjoying it. There's something in this. And that's how it started. That was June 2013. So we are just over our first day. Um, sorry, I'm going to rewind. We had no money, not an extra tenner between us. My, my mom had given up smoking nine years previously. And every euro she would have spent on cigarettes, she saved in a Kit Kat money bank, a money jar underneath the sink. That's what we do in Ireland. Not anymore, but that's what we did at the time. Because uh, we didn't trust the banks at that stage. Anyway, um, she gave it to us. She just gave it to us. And the reason she gave it to us, not, she thought fair doors were great, but she wanted us to stay in the country. She didn't want us to go. She, she, we were Toronto bound. 
So she was like, no, 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 stay here, have the money, have the money. And she gave us eight and a half thousand euros. So that's how we started our business. Um, we started trading on the 28th of August 2013. Um, Facebook was free at the time. Not anymore. It was free. So every follower we got saw what we did. Um, we have now 250, over 250,000 followers on Facebook. Now, I should have had a slide for that, shouldn't I? Totally should have. Anyway, at the time, it was wonderful, absolutely wonderful. Um, but the biggest thrill was about four days after we started trading, and we got an order in from someone we didn't know. We didn't know her. Her name is Helen Smith. I remember her name. And we were sitting around Eva's kitchen table, making fairy doors, painting them, blinging them, putting the stuff on them. And um, so does anyone know Helen Smith? Here, stop the lights. Does anyone know Helen Smith? Nobody knew Helen Smith. <laughs> we're like, Helen Smith doesn't know us, and she's ordered a fairy door. And we remember wrapping it up and going, wow, you know? And we I sent it off in the post, and um, it just kept going. Like we were, we, we did loads of markets. We were out and we, we had every friend, everyone we knew was like, you're going here, you're going here, you're going here. Listen, I'm broke, so you have to help me. So they're all like totally on for it. Everyone we knew was in a market, a physical market in a park or in a, it was coming up to Christmas, so all the Christmas markets. And it was our biggest, biggest, biggest um, uh, investment was to buy the tent. You know the tent that you use for the markets? It was 600 quid. Couldn't get over, we had to spend 600 quid in it. We put it up in front of, in, in Eva's front garden, looking at it going, look at that. That is ours. But you know what? We couldn't afford the weights to hold it down, right? So when we were at the markets, there we were, holding onto the tent, right? There, how, many, how many do you want? And we were there, hold on a minute now, trying to, th so the thing wouldn't take off and go across the park. No joke, and that is a true story. Anyway, we're now, we have now sold 500,000 ferry doors, which is insane. And we still don't have, ah, thank you. <laughs> Um, it's, it's, um, we're very proud of it. I'm just making sure I'm not going off point because I've only got 13 minutes left. Um, it's, we're very proud of that, but what we're most proud of, because if, if my husband was standing up here now, he'd be all about the money. He'd be like, well, this is how much we made, and this is how much we're going to make. I, that does not interest me. What interests me is genuinely making a difference. These children, like every, every second children in, in, in Ireland, now every other child in Ireland has a very door. So we're constantly getting inspired the whole time from people and um, saying what, what's happened with their fairy door. Um, it's making a difference in children's lives um, in a very simple way. It's bringing imagination back. It's, it's playing the way we used to play when we were kids, which is just unfortunately not hugely um, common anymore. Um, but then we have a huge amount of when the kind of magic goes a little bit further. Um, and I'm going to give you just two examples. There was one little girl right at the beginning, and her dad had just died. Um, it was actually about nine months previously, and she just didn't smile anymore. She just didn't. She was an only child, and she loved her dad, and he had died. And um, her mum ra rang us, rang us actually, picked up the phone and rang us, and said, We've, um, her aunt has just gotten her a fairy door, and she has smiled for the first time in nine months. And I, she was bawling. We were bawling. Everyone was bawling. It's like, you've, you've, do you know what you've done? Like, do you understand what you've created? It's, it's, it's such a simple thing, but it's made our family so much happier. Um, and thank you. And um, there's some really, really sad stories. I'm not going to actually put it, really put it down on everybody. But there's another one that I love. This one is actually very, um, I found very emotional. Um, only lately, about like two months ago, um, a family uh, emailed us and said, right, we have a 23-year-old son who um, has autism. He has never, ever, ever gone upstairs on his own, ever. So every night, either mum or dad or sister goes upstairs, helps him brush his teeth and get into bed. Because he's scared, he doesn't want to go upstairs on his own. So um, they had gotten, they were grandparents, so um, um, this gentleman, he's 23, he had two older sisters and they had children. So granny and granddad had gotten a fairy door and they put it up in their house for their grandkids. And the girls came in and they loved the, I think it was fairy, fairy pepper, and uh, all about fairy pepper. And um, the next night, they were sitting around, it was half nine, the time his name was Sam, that Sam went to bed, and they turned around and he was gone. They're like, where's Sam? And they got a bit panicked, because Sam never, ever leaves the house without anyone. And they went upstairs, and he had brushed his teeth, and he was in bed. And they couldn't, they were like, 
first time in his whole life. And they said, um, Sam, what, you know, why did you choose tonight? And he said, because Fairy Pepper's here. And, like, that's life-changing for them. That's 23 years of doing the same thing. And all of a sudden, he got comfort from knowing that this little magical fairy was living at the top of the stairs. Like, I get, get emotional now when I think about it. It's just, it, and we get so many stories like this. But taking out that extra bit of magic, because there's plenty of it, 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 it's just going back to basics. It's going back to the way that we used to play. Obviously, I think everyone should have one, well, apart from the non-believers, we leave them. But um, we have had, I'm going to go into the kind of the, the, the kind of little boring, a little bit of the boring part. Um, well, actually, I met Cheryl Sandberg. That's not boring. That's cool, isn't it? We were invited into Facebook, went into Facebook, and we met her. Honestly, got a picture with me and Cheryl Sandberg because I'm there going, this is how I roll now. Unbelievable. But anyway, um, I, I don't want to go into too much detail about my famous people. Hold on a second now. Kardashians too. Kardashians. Courtney Kardashian has a door. Just so you know. Um, okay, as we move into different markets, okay? Um, okay. This is, I, I'm, I'm going to let you watch the video first, and then I'll explain it, if that's okay, Carlos. Thank you. This is all about putting a smile on their little faces, right? That's right, Pete. We're hanging out with someone who traveled all the way from Ireland to Columbus, Ohio. This is Mead. How are you doing, Mead? Nice to meet you. So this has taken Ireland by storm. It has. This it is has. the Irish Fairy Door Company. What is it? Okay, so it's all about inviting a magical friend into your home. So what you need to do, you need to pick a door, put it in your house or outside in your garden, yeah. leave the little key out overnight. In the morning, if the key is gone, your fairy's moved in. It's going to stay with you forever. And how many kids in Ireland have this? Every other child in Ireland has One in two kids has One this. in two kids has this in Ireland. Oh, and all right, welcome back. Kids of all ages will flock to the Javits Center this Saturday through Tuesday for the 2016 Toy Fair. And there you will find the latest and greatest toys for the new year. Jackie Retzer is a trend specialist with the Toy Industry Association. And so, uh, right next, we've got the Irish Fairy Door Company. Irish Fairy Door is what it is. It's these little doors that kids can put in their homes or classrooms, and there's a key that you leave next to it. And when the child wakes up or comes back in, if the key's gone, that means the fairy is, is in the room with you. Okay. It's, it's, a cool, it's all about imagination and yeah. creativity. It's a great way for parents to get engaged with their kids. Um, for some open-ended playtime. And that's so important that parents are right. involved with their kids. I mean, it's, it's important for kids to have their own uh, alone time playing, but really to involve the parents as well. Right. And, and parents want to be engaged, so. Absolutely. Of course. I, you know, I mean, I find so many of these toys that kind of roll up my sleeves and I'm having. Sometimes I'm wondering if I'm having more fun than my kids. <laughs> I'm when sure we're they're having tons so. of fun, too. Yeah, yeah I can guarantee. <laughs> yeah, tons of fun. Okay. So, first of all, your fairy only comes out at night. She got that wrong. Never mind. Um, your fairy comes out at night. They blow away your bad dreams to take your worries away, okay? You write to your fairy and your fairy writes back. So, that's the idea. And um, the reason I showed you those is because we're on American Telly. Like, big deal. Wow. We thought we'd made it. We were like, we have just been on NBC New York. I heard... Nora. Nora and Paul say something. And I was, like, nodding away. America. We thought they're going to love us. They love Irish people. They love us. We're deadly. They love the kids. Uh, we're going to make a mint over there, right? So we we're like, let's put all of our money on America. Hmm. That was 2016. Um, we are now not in America. Actually, that's not true. We're in a lot of shops in America, but let's just say it is, you think it's the June and the Crown. It is the money sucker of all money suckers. Um, you put so much money into it, and you don't get the return. And I think if you have millions and millions, brilliant, but we don't. America is a work in progress. I just, we thought we'd made it, but we haven't in America. So that's the, you'll hear in a couple of years' time, oh my God, everyone has a fairy door now, and she, she did something right. But at the moment, America's not happening. Um, that's where we're banking on. Um, Holland and Spain and Italy and France. Anyway, um, okay, so it, it's a huge, culturally, uh, we think all English people, uh, English people, English speaking countries are the same, they're not. Um, Americans don't like to read so much, and I, I don't mean to offend anyone that's in America. That is actually the research because they don't like to turn the box over. They actually only, it has to sell itself from when you look at the front of it. And that's not, that's actually research we did. It's, Shocking. Um, but I, I don't mean to. 
up on me. Anyway, okay, so here's some collages because I'm showing off now. Hold on. Oh, hold on. There we go. Oh, yeah, we did this. We did this. So these are some of our believers. Okay. Yeah. They're so fabulous. I love it. See, people inspire us. They send in their stuff all the time about what they're doing with their fairy door. Um, we get about maybe about 100 photographs uh, a week, and they're all really cool, like really, really cool. Um, I think, you know, what, probably what everyone said was what, what comes next. And in Ireland, we needed to come up with something next. I want to go five minutes. So I'm going to show you the next video, and this is what's coming next. It's just been launched in Ireland, so we're very excited about this. I'm Shavail, and I'm here to tell you all about our magical worry pack. A lot of people get in touch with us and they have a few worries. So we have come up with this idea of how to help little people with their worries. Sometimes I get a little bit worried about things and it gets me down. But when I use my worry pack, and the light turns from red to green. I know the fairies have taken my worries away, so I can just concentrate on having lots of fun. Do I think of a worry now? The worry in your head. What would you be worried about? I'd be worried if I have a nightmare now. What a course. Yeah, that's what happens when you're little. So it's red now. It's red. You're thinking of your worry. Think of it. Yeah. As it goes green, the fairies heard it. It's green. Yeah. <laughs> I wonder if they do industrial size for adults. Once you have your own worry pack, make sure you visit our website, theirishfairydoorcompany.com, to watch our human fairy, Fairy Cloda, talk about the different kinds of worries you might have, and reassure you that they've now been given away. care homes from just everyday normal family homes, it's had a really, really, really positive response. And um, we're very, very passionate about it. And um, we've heard, again, some really simple stories about my child was swimming, never let go of the side of the pool, all of a sudden gave her worries away to the fairies, and there she is, swimming away, not a bother. And they didn't understand, they're like, why, why how come you chose to swim this week? Because I told my fairy, I gave my fairy my worry. And then you've got the much bigger worries that, let me tell you, it would break anybody's heart. Um, either way, it's, it's enriching our brand. It's enriching who we are. And um, we have a nightlight. We have some new fairy teddies. We've got um, loads of fairy accessories. So you're, if your fairy wants to hang out on the hammock, we've got a fairy hammock. We've got um, a slide, a seesaw. We've got it all. Um, there's so much there. There's so much there. Um, I think, I suppose, and I'm going to nearly, I've only got two minutes left. Um, I suppose the best, the best feedback, and I was saying this to you, um, Paul, earlier on, um, that is, and without a shadow of a doubt, is that all of a sudden, um, parents are using their imagination as well. So kids are naturally, um, they have it in them, and they just need a few little tools to bring it out. We have our imagination pushed so far down that we find it very hard to actually connect with it again. So when Paul was up here doing this talk, I, I'd say he looked at me, and I was like that, every single thing he was saying, because it's so true. Like, grow down. Have fun, um, and this is a really simple way of doing it, you know. Um, the feedback we get is that I have started to use my imagination again, and we get to find out what's happening with my child um, through a really, really, really fun, happy um, method. It's, 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 it's a really, really, really um, perfect way. And very, it doesn't take a lot of time. It really doesn't. One note a week. Now, kids like to do, like, one note a day. Just discourage that. One, one, fairies have tiny hands. They can only write back once a week. That's a good, a good tip before you go. Um, the very last thing I want to say is that, and a lot of people, because I do a lot of interviews, and they say, what do you want to happen? Like, what do you want? And I really do believe, and I really want, that every child of believing age um, 
which, which is kind of between two and ten, um, should have one of these. And, you know, Santa is a, is a huge, huge part of most people's childhood. I believe it's a big, big claim. I'm not going to deny it. But I believe that having a fairy door and having a fairy in your life should be just as much a part of childhood as Santa is at Christmas. Everybody should have a fairy. They should say, well, when their children come along and they're the right age, I had a fairy. Um, how about we see if we can invite a fairy in for you? So it's something that's passed down from generation to generation. That's my, my hope and our mission, without a shadow of a doubt. I have a one more thing that I want you to do. Oh, yeah, my blank screen. Okay, one more question. One more question remains. Oh, go back. Do you believe? Do you believe in fairies? Yeah. Don't know what you have to say. Yes, we believe in fairies. Woo! <laughs> thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs>